Hello and welcome to this multi-video series on tutorials um, for the Doom Snap Map uh, Map Creator or Editor. Uh, this first video is to show you how to uh, create the cache variable uh, or points or any kind of uh, variable for players to spend in order to buy things with. So this can be really basic. Um, just to give you an idea, you can you don't have to do exactly like this, but this is to show you how to do it so you can integrate it into your maps. So I'm going to start off with when the player spawns. Uh, not that. When the player spawns, it needs to set the cache variable. So when the player spawns, it is going to uh, we're here player resource new player resource it's going you can have multiple you can make it cost different things from different resources for whatever you want so this is going to be um, set player resource okay this is just for money so for the player resource you can go to its properties I like to set my cash or money uh, icon separately to something else to make it more distinctively uh, visual um, I set the minimum value to zero because you shouldn't be able to go into the negatives, in my opinion. You shouldn't really, in my opinion, have a max for cash, so we set it really high. Uh, initial value zero. Yeah, okay, so this is all good. Uh, I can set that to cash. Done. So, we have a variable that is cash. Things the money can, uh, player can spend, which is going to be the money. Uh, what are we going to set the money to. We're going to set player resource to a thousand. So when the player spawns it will set one thousand cash. Now say you have multiple players uh, on this uh, I don't know survival map that you're making. Uh, you don't need to redo this for every player. All you have to do is just uh, when player spawns, just connect it to here. There. Now, when that player spawns as well, it's going to do the exact same thing. Now, this has set successfully the money variable. However, you won't be able to see it or know what the, that variable is unless you display it. And so in order to do that, you need to go to the communication uh, tab and HUD settings. You want to place this right here. Okay. Now, when the player spawns, it is going to set the HUD settings to active. Otherwise, you won't see the HUD because it will be disabled. So, now when the player spawns, it's going to enable the HUD. And what do we want in the HUD? This is important. We're going to uh, set the top left to uh, not custom, but variable because we're working with the cache variable. Uh, the label for this is going to be cache. Okay. The variable itself um, is going to be the cache variable, but when you open this, uh, this can be confusing, but uh, there are multiple pages for different variable types. You want to go to the uh, player resource page and select the cache variable. You can do that by using your Q and E keys to get there. There. So we have the cache variable there. The label cache is what the player is going to see so they know what that number means. Um, I personally like to set uh, this, uh, the color for this text to green because it's a good money color. Okay. Um, there's going to be uh, a symmetrical half, other half of this. Um, you don't exactly have to set this, but it's uh, preset to team score. You keep it as that. You could set it to uh, a new variable like kills and make the, your kills show there. You could, you could have a second resource that's maybe parts if you want to craft things. There, you, there's a lot you can do, but I'm just gonna leave it as team score. Um, and also there is play time that is being shown underneath these two uh, HUD pieces. Uh, the playtime will show you how long you've been playing on the map for. 
Um, I'm just going to leave that how it is. Uh, I like to keep this enabled. Um, it's good to know how long you've been playing on a map, especially if it's a survival one. You can be playing for a long time. So that is it. You have your variable. Its name is cache. That's what the player will see. And the variable being shown for the number is the cache variable, which is that number there. Okay. Done. Now, if we go and test this out, when you start, the top left of your screen, you will see the HUD displaying your total amount of cash, and you should have a thousand because that is what we have set it to. And there it is. Thank you for watching part one. Uh, part two will be buying weapons uh, using the cash.